Hey, hey, hey. Why is it doing that? Who? Why are you doing that? Aha! There we go. It was switched on. For guest split screen for some reason. Hello. Arms, hey! <laughs> Atski, Chilstrand, Eric. How's it going? So, yesterday that happened. I tattooed myself. Interesting, fun, completely different experience. But um, I'm good. It's, the flat is cold. So I'm like sitting and shivering. I put, just put on an electric heater, so it's going to pick up some temperature, hopefully. So the tattoo it ended up great. Uh, exactly like I hoped he would. Let's see if I can show it. But um, yeah, super nice and clean. Just uh, nice and clean lines. No shading at all. Uh, just exactly like I wanted it. Hey, Zelen Schmeiz. <laughs> Pass out? No, I did not. I sat. He said he was. I was. I was doing good. Like uh, I sat for maybe four hours something, uh, just with one pee break. Uh, it was pretty good. What hurt was the side of the uh, arm where the bone was is really close to the to the skin, and the whole like skeleton shook when he colored in the red. Captain Jet Lagner, Reda, their bard, Seart, Müller, Schmeizelin, Chilstrand, Giorgio, everyone. How's it going? Uh, tr throw me some topics. The balls, Captain Balls. Say art Bjork. Hello. Everyone's here. It's end of September. Everyone's getting back to their normal schedule. Slick barber. That's a pretty cool topic. Thanks, Nelly. It it ended up great. Astronaut alien hunter. Okay. Caterpillar Fairy, Cyberpunk Vampire, that's pretty cool. So one, two, three, four. We got four topics so far. Five, six, spine. Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's um let's set up the dice. And we can roll the dice, I think. Quite short. Okay, let's see. Shy Goblin, that's pretty cool. Rock shift. Number four. Number four, which is one, two, three, four. Cyberpunk vampire. Right? One, two, three, four. Batsky. That's pretty cool. Cyberpunk vampire. Cyberpunk. Cyber. Alright, I got a picture in my head. I got a picture in my head. So let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> rigged. Four equals rigged for sure. <laughs> Say it. Yeah, you just have to do it again tomorrow. Yeah, so the, the, the whole tattooing business was a really interesting experience. And the 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 tattoo guy, uh, the the tattoo artist, he was like f almost fearing, <laughs> fearing uh, my tattoo. Like he, uh, the like the other tattoo artists came when he was tattooing. They came over and and joked like, "How's the exam going?" 
<laughs> hey Sofa Strangler and uh, Genji, welcome. And DC Cool, you are back. Yeah, so he um yeah, he, he said like he knew the skill level he could do it. But he said it was so uh, a very nice challenge to try to you know not to, to screw up. Uh, good morning, Nefas. Hey, Shmaze. Uh, my kids, my 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 son looked at it, and my daughter, um, she threw a glance at it and 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 said that I have drawn an animal on my arm, like a I don't remember what the animal, like a bird or something. But she didn't care that much. My son kind of, when I was cleaning it, he came in and said, "Oh, that's nice." And I said, "Here's your name," and I pointed at it, and he said, "No." <laughs> it didn't care that much. The the MTV show, I have no idea. I don't watch MTV. I don't watch TV. But um, what's it, if it if it's a specific call name? Uh, <clears throat> I uh, I have watched like one Australian tattoo show called Bondi Inc. I think. And one that everyone has watched, the Miami Inc. <laughs> yeah, well, his mother has a tattoo. So maybe for him it was like, oh, now daddy has one as well. Uh, but I told him, you know, like he can't touch it uh, because, you know, it was, it was raw. But I guess when, when with time, he's going to be able to touch it and look at it. You should get pst, pst tattoo in the patterns. What is pst, pst tattoo? Or, ta or maybe tattoo into the pattern. Well, there is written names in the on the body of the snake, the red, the red part. Oh, it's a serpent, rather. It's names of uh, family members who who have who died and who still live, um, like the immediate. Um, on my father's and and mother's sides, two generations, I think. is like a tribute to them. Oh, like when I say pss, pss, all right. Oh, really, Captain Judge? Like, that sounds horrible. Hey, the DJ Warwolf 12 humanoid. Welcome. So for Strangler, yeah. I just wanted this specific one for a very long time. It, it means, like, I wanted it since I was 18, and that was approximately 20 years ago. So now that I fi finally have it, I'm very pleased. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my, my family, you know. It means a lot. Captain Jetlag, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew the the quality of this tattoo artist because he had tattooed my wife um, a couple of years ago, and uh, the lines are super clean uh, on my wife, and uh, he did a really good job, you know, making it making it accurate. Um, so I knew that, you know. My wife has a like a floor plan of uh, one of the chapels Da Vinci designed, you know, like an architectural top drawing, with lots of like straight line intersecting each other in this pattern, and he did it on her arm, and it's um, turned out really, really good, like really clean, super straight lines. 
so I knew like okay my type 2 idea uh, he will be able to uh, at least be able to attempt to do because my my tattoo is for the whole arm my wife's is just like a, a circle like a big of circle Eric Moy, I think I think he was pretty pleased with it. Um, I haven't uh, included her name in the tattoo. I have a specific tattoo I want to make. Uh, Captain Jetlag, I, I'll I'll ask it, ask her for it. Um, I'll show it on the stream tomorrow. It's very pretty. But he was pleased with it. Like when I when I stood up and after he had put in the red, he kind of leaned in, you know, like super excited and, and said, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, that red was like really, really sells it. You know, he was really, really happy with it. Um, you know, so was I. He was a cool guy. I was sitting and talking with him a lot, and sharing stories. And, and he said also he was scared of... Um, doing this tattoo for me because you know I'm an artist as well uh, and he was like oh it's like it's like tattooing another tattoo artist it's uh, like a, that it's an honor but it's scary because you know they have an understanding for design and, and quality and stuff Captain Jetlag yeah exactly you know, see him excited about it, not just like jaded, like oh, yet another tattoo. He was like really, like he, you could see him sitting there sweating and you know, like trying to make perfect lines, and he did, uh, he did like so clean lines. It's crazy. It looks like a printer, and that's why also I don't want it shaded. I want it like this super clean. Why? She raised how? Why I waited so long to get it done? I don't know. Like I, I wanted it when I was eighteen. I, I did a version of it when I was eighteen. Uh, but I was so happy that I didn't tattoo it at eighteen because that was like a shitty drawing of a bear, with like some stupid pattern around it, like tribal. Uh, mind you, when I was eighteen, it was just becoming popular and not being. You know, bad taste. But you know, that being said, I'm I'm happy uh, that I didn't get tribal tattoo with a bear. Um, so I kind of did another version over the years, and then I thought, you know, like I don't have a great idea what it could be. I want I want the, like something with a bear, something with Vikings, something with my my heritage, etc. And then little by little over the years, I I. I found more information about my family. I, I figured I got better at art. I, some people died. Uh, uh, you know, like small little details came together until I had the, like the idea I really wanted, and I knew exactly what to to design. <laughs> Dear Bart, yeah, maybe, or maybe he um, tried uh, a little bit harder because he knows you're an artist, right? Like he can't, he can't just do a do a cheap one. So I asked him, like, do you have any uh, horror stories about bad clients? And he said he talked about one, like one being particularly tricky, you know, like backseat driver type uh, person, you know. So I can, uh, I could relate to that. You know, some clients, they, they say like, oh, I like, I want this, and you give it. And then they go, no, 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 I want this. And then you give it to them. And then they go, yeah, I like this, but change this and that. And you need to change it. And they say, oh, yeah, but what if you do this and you do that? And then <laughs> it's an ongoing, you know, uh, What's it called? Shifting of the goalpost. 
Hey Jacob, good morning, welcome, or it's a good evening for you actually, or maybe it is morning, early, early morning, as far as I know. But yeah, so on the tattoo there's uh, living and dead relatives, my my kid's name, my wife's name, my brother's name, his kid's name, uh, mother, father, dead uh, uncles and aunts, dead grandmothers, grandfathers. So it's a good one. I, I, I like it. I, it's like I, it's an, for me, it feels like a, an honor, you know, to wear, wear their names. Like it has a meaning. Right? So I'm happy with that. I also like the the like very clean style of the tattoo. It's nice. What uh, sofa strangler? Now you have to explain yourself. What on earth is a nipple wizard tattoo? What is that? I'm a little bit scared and a little bit confused. <laughs> Oh, right, so you, you grow up nipple hair and then draw a wizard all <laughs> above it. That's pretty funny. That's pretty fucked up. Captain Bow's <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Maybe I've unlocked another energy level. No, it's just a different approach. Less designing, more painting, like m mushing around. Um, Jacob Mobley, if I have ever had the hesitation to finish something, yeah, it, it happens now and then. The thing with that, when, when you, I think when you feel hesitation, it's, it's due to the fact that you've I at least I can't talk for uh, speak for you, but I think there is a sense of of um, there's like a uh, what's it called hump on the, in the road. Is that that's the thing, right? Hump, lump? No, it must be a hump. Hump in the road. Hump. Yeah, hump. Camels and hump. Um, of of uh, knowledge. Right, you don't know where to go, and 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 you enjoy, you enjoy where where you've taken the piece, and you feel like, oh shit, oh shit, how how do I, like, go to the next stage of the painting, right? And it becomes this this unknown, this vague, vague um, mass of, of of a painting that you don't, you just don't like. I I don't know where to go. So what what's a good good thing to do is is like take a step back, make a battle plan. Like I need to do this, I need to do that. And then and then you just maybe make a new layer and just attack it, right? Do some heavy changes with a big brush or 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 just force it into the direction you need it to be and then uh, start like keep on enhancing the painting I guess like for me a lot of times is this like okay I've taken it to a certain degree I I love where it is and then the, you go like what 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 do I need to do now to make it better where do I like it's a little bit I don't know for me I, I get the sense I'm, I'm lost not really scared, but uh, just not knowing what what is required for the next step, right? W what should I do to improve it?
<laughs> so it's a, but it's a bit different. Like you don't want to finish it because you don't want to do the next thing. Maybe you just finish it, finish it, and then um, take a break. Reward yourself with a break. Think, okay, when I finish this, I'm gonna play this game, or I'm gonna go out, and, or I'm sit and sketch in a sketchbook, or you know, don't touch anything work related for a while. Just to, you know, enjoy finishing it. You know, give yourself a reward for finishing it. That could also work. You know, you have to enjoy it a little bit, rather than just kind of keep on running. Yeah, that link doesn't work. <laughs> Captain Jet like, yeah, you can't be rocky running that beach all day long. You have to take a break <laughs> from your BFF. So where are we with time? We're halfway. Oh. Pretty good place to be halfway. Or not, because I'm just seeing problems that I need to fix. Vampire. Cyberpunk vampire, right? That's the topic. Cyberpunk vampire. Give him creepy hair. Maybe should I give him a smirk? Jacob Mobley, yeah, taking breaks is important. Like, um, it's so easy to just be caught up in art and grind. And when, for me, at least, a lot of times, is that's when it stops being fun. Like when you just know you have this mountain of things to do, and you just sit in front of the workstation and just do it, and, and you just count the 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 minutes of how you, long you've been sitting there and not really enjoying the process, not really enjoying the end product, just because you knew you know you need to get the, all the shit done, right? And, and that's that's a, like a danger of, of working too hard. You just don't enjoy the the journey, and the journey is just as important, you know, you know like like the end product. You really need to. Uh, find a balance between working hard and, and enjoying the product that you're creating and and uh, also enjoying not working like that's why friends are important or family are important you know so you can just kick back and not think about art because it's the same thing like with with uh, being a parent i mean i don't know if you are jacob but like when you're a when you're a parent and you're around your kids all the time, you like you you stop enjoying your kids. You know, you just do the checklist of what you need to do because you have to, right? And you're not enjoying being with them, or or if it's a you know hard um, period in time where they they're just being you know like a holes or or stuff. You know, you, you, it just becomes the you count the minutes right until they go to bed. You know, every parent has those moments. So it's really important to to find the contrast to that, so that 
you know, maybe you go do something fun that the, the kids just love so that you don't need to be the parent. You can just hang out with them or, or you know, you can just maybe the kids go to their grandmother for, for a day and, and you can just not be a dad. And that's also very important, you know, that, that there is contrast to, to all those things. And same with art. I mean, you know, you love doing art, but if you're constantly around it and constantly have to produce, you, you stop loving it. You know, it just becomes the, the, mo the motion of creating art. That's a, that's a dangerous part of, of it. You just need to like, find the balance of it. That's what I found over the years. So maybe that'll that'll help you a little bit. It helped me realizing it. So, but everyone is different. So maybe it won't help you. But hey, Gaxix, welcome, 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 Belinir, welcome. Good morning or good evening. Hey, Tindre. I saw that you uh, clicked follow a while back. Glad that you delurked. Hey, Russell. Good morning. Yeah. So the whole thing about that is make sure that you find a balance and, and and so you don't lose the joy of it. And you often you have to take a break. You know. Lecture done. <laughs> Today's lesson, kids, about life, sponsored by Carlsberg. It was awesome, Tinder. Well, I'm glad that you decided to join. It's, it's good stuff, man. That was a bad idea. That's a better idea. Feel free also to, uh, to join the di Discord if you feel like it. It's a bunch of artists all helping each other. Uh, you know, we are creating more or less this um, routine of, of uh, hanging out on the, the, that Discord and, and helping each other uh, stay motivated by, by we're all in the same boat. And also uh, seeing other people um, stay active. Also making friends. Oh, friends! Have anyone seen the uh, In Betweeners, the UK version, not the horrible American version? There is an episode in there where they 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 mock their friend that says he has another friend outside of their friend group, and they and they all constantly go, "Oh, friend, friend!" <laughs> Hilarious. It's such a vulgar TV show, like their jokes. All right. Hilarious. Hey, did someone click follow? Are we rocky running? Oh, Vagenda 2. Thank you very much for the follow. You and me, we are rocky running all day long. And Ronda, Ronde, Rendezvous 911. Is that a, a black girl hidden in Rendezvous? Ronde, 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 Ronde. Ronde. Maybe an Australian person. <laughs> Gaxix, yeah, exactly. Hey, Vagenda, that's cool. That's excellent. I know is rendezvous. Rendez. I don't have no idea how you say it in France, but in French, but it's a meeting, right? A rendezvous. All right. Hey, who's Rocky running? More people. Sinfully good. Thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. 
So now we have those kind of face patterns. Um, maybe put some sort of hint that it's kind of human, kind of not. Maybe something weird with the eyes as well. Lines everywhere. Hmm. Kind of dig it. Kind of dig it. I'm not digging the white background, though. That has to go. Guts to go. How are we with time? Four minutes left. Ah, easy today. Easy today. I enjoyed today's drawing. Or also talking to everyone today. It's a good day today. Very relaxed painting. Just low value. Something, something. Oh, can it also be surrender? That's interesting. Yeah, Freemason. We are all Freemasons. Level level thirty three here. <laughs> we illuminate each other. So the next special stream will be us dressed up as animals, <laughs> chanting in reverse or whatever they do at the whatever lodge they're at, the, these Illuminati people. Maybe as is a vampire. Um, hey, K-Trap TV, uh, what drawing pad? Um, do you mean a portable portable drawing pad or just in general for like home? I use a Cintiq. I find the Cintiq uh, very, very useful uh, in the way I do art. So um, if you have a chance, maybe go somewhere and, and, and try a Cintiq out. Um, maybe you know someone or maybe they, they have some in the... Like, uh, library or some text store. I don't know why I said library. Maybe you have a fancy library and you have a drawing pad. Um, but uh, I heard very good things about the iPad Pro. Otherwise, if you, you just find with a stationary home thing, I'd say a Cintiq uh, if you want that. Uh, but if you just want something to draw at, like a tablet, than uh, any v v Wacom version, the cheapest to the ex most expensive. It's all more or less the same. It's just the more expensive ones are probably bigger with a little bit more buttons. The cheaper one is still the same technology, you know. Maybe a little bit less fidelity in, in the way it reads levels of pressure. But if you're a beginner, it doesn't matter. What's important with that is just get to get you creating. I used uh, Intius uh, or a Wacom kind of Intius one, the light gray one, which was what their one of their first, like low level app uh, tablets, drawing tablets uh, for I think five six years, and then from that I bought uh, Cintiq. So you can use a normal tablet, the cheapest one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you got. It matters what you do with it. <laughs> that whole thing. Anyways, here's the cyberpunk vampire. It became a portrait. I don't know. It is what it is today. Uh, 
<laughs> interesting bear. It's all good, man. No worries. Let's do one last tweak. I just want to make it a little bit creepy. There we go. And done. Actually, no, not done. I want yellow in there as well. Some weird ass yellow. It's too green. That yellow. And I want it to. Something like there. Yes. Yes. And then set it to color. Yes. Done. Uh, again, I do have music, but uh, on the streams I get tagged with copyright infringements if I have, so there's no music. Um, I did that in the beginning, and uh, all the streams that I did in the beginning have copyright claims, so I'm not going there uh, anymore, as in with music. Um, but uh, after the stream, yeah, of course, I listen to music or, or watch, uh, watch something and I have it. Uh, so thanks everyone for joining in. Tomorrow morning at the exact same time, uh, I'll be doing yet another warm up, and uh, we are very much welcome to join in. Um, click Discord if you want to join a cool little community that's expanding. Uh, donate if you want. I don't. Uh, whatever. I don't want to do the pitch. Have a good one. Here comes the outro. Bye. See you on Discord.